Yeah, we got the Nike Air Force One. Um, with Comme des Garçons, which is a crazy collab. It looks really, really cool. So it's debuted, I think, for the Fall Winter 2020 collection at Paris Fashion Week. And what I like about Comme des Garçons is that they always do crazy collabs. No, sorry, they always do collaboration with Nike, but they always take like really staple silhouettes and do some crazy shit with it. And I like the idea that that most of the crazy shit they do with it is done in a very crazy fashion way. Like, you know, most collaborations sometimes they do with Nike, it seems they just go in there and just change the paneling colorways and stuff. They don't necessarily apply their fashion perspective or apple or kind of put a way of working to the shoe. So, you know, I like the fact that, you know, Sakai is the same sort of thing, right? That's why the Sakai's have gone crazy. I think because they look like a shoe that's been designed by a fashion designer, right? The fact that they've kind of, she's kind of taken the uh, quintessential Nike running shoe and essentially kind of stacked loads on top of it, different soles, different applications on top, um, kind of twisted that, bended that. It's something that you would have seen applied uh, to a runway show, right? Taking like a staple trench coat and kind of deconstructing it. Uh, maybe elongating the sleeves, taking away the waistband, uh, shortening the length of it, uh, doing another bit of lining. Like all those things have been applied to a shoe. So I think when they're done right, it can really kind of hit out of the park. And I think um, Comedy Gas will do a good way of doing it. And I like the fact that they usually do them in a very small run. They're only really released in their own stores in Dover Street around the world. And they're kind of done without any hoopla, no hype, no craziness. That's it. And it just gets put out there. But I think these Air Force Ones might be probably one of the most popular versions. So it's Air Force One for people listening. It's Air Force One Mid um, in white and black. And then what essentially it looks like, it's like they've basically taken an exacto knife and slit along the kind of the, the where the lace stays are. They slit around the, the swoosh, slit around the forefoot, which essentially gives it this kind of exploded, kind of like burst out sort of like style. And then they've got the Comme des Garçons uh, embossed on the strap on the side where the kind of Velcro strap is. So again, very classically done, very clean, nothing extra on top of it, just that. And it looks fucking incredible. So this is from um, High Snobiety. It says, Comme des Garçons, new Air Force One mids are very on brand. It says the following here on the article, Comme des Garçons and Nike uh, uh, unveiling an upcoming collaboration at Paris Fashion Week. Um, name a more iconic trio. Over the past weekend, Comme des Garçons unveiled their Nike Air Force One mid on the Paris Fashion Week runway. The sneaker looked to uh, be crafted from premium leather and feature CDG branding on the customary ankle strap. As we, as was as also as was also the case with the Japanese uh, labeled previous night collaboration, these Air Force Ones feature a surplus of materials around the swoosh, heel strap, and toe box. Instead of frayed fabric, though, Nike mid feature excess of leather. The com- so is it excess leather or is it an exact on that cut? I'm not too sure. Maybe it's excess leather. Is right true that one? Maybe there is leather underneath it. Um, take a closer look at the sneakers via the Instagram below. So this is via Instagram of a guy called uh, what is it called? Lukaki uh luca kulibaki or something like that but i'll, I'll look at shows you guys can see yourself but they look fucking good man really really good so um i like they've got the more person at the bottom here but yeah so you got this kind of exploded look on them they look pretty cool they look so nice aren't they i love that sneaker so yeah maybe they're right maybe there is it's just excessive material it's just like kind of like overlapping on it but i like the fact it's just a classic air force one uh mid done in white and black someone else i think there's a picture as well i put here i saw of like the the black pair yeah so this is the one that's actually got the actual look of them so again maybe i'm i'm wrong with the exacto knife thing maybe it's just excess material yeah it's excess material so then so there is a material underneath and it's just essentially them imagine you were gonna cut out a swoosh for a nike and you didn't want to go around it properly that's what it basically looks like but it looks really cool i love the look of it, it looks amazing you go excess material and the black and the white it's just perfect perfect and again, I like the fact that that's what Supreme probably would have done, should have done with their one, but of course it would have cost them more money and it would have probably uh, reduced, they probably would have taken away the idea that they could restock them during the season, but I would have liked more Lux leather. Just looking at the black pair, you can tell the black pair has that more of an upgrade on leather than the standard uh, leather you'd get on an uh, Air Force One uh, that you get from JD Sports. It's a bit more, I don't know, it looks a bit more buttery and I like the fact that they've got the white, you know, black on white text there, so it's a nice bit of floss if you're going to wear them with shorts, but they look fucking cool. I like those. They look really, really well done. Um, Image of surface, no date on the cl- on the no um, indication when they're gonna release so far. But again, one of my favorites that I've seen so far from Nike from um, this four two sorry the four twenty twenty shows in Paris. There wasn't that many sneaker collaborations actually dropped this time around, but I like that these are out and they exist. So they look really cool. Again, another kind of uh, iteration of what Matthew Williams did with his Air Force ones as well. Really, really well done, man. I like the look of those. I can't wait for those to come out. <laughs> 